are heading for the north of Scotland, to the north of Scotland to witness the rare phenomenon of an annular eclipse. In the early hours of tomorrow morning, the moon will pass between the Earth and the sun, causing a ring of fire. There won't be another eclipse like this in Britain for 90 years. Sue Nelson reports. If the weather holds, Shetland is in for a treat, as when the sun rises above the horizon tomorrow morning, these northern isles will provide one of the best vantage points for an annular eclipse. For Scotland and its Astronomer Royal, this is the chance of a lifetime to see an unusual astronomical event. If you see a partial eclipse, the moon passes across just part of the sun. If you see a total eclipse, it hides the sun's disk completely and you see the outer parts. But this is a case where the moon is a bit further from the Earth than normal, and so it doesn't quite totally hide the sun and you see uh, the, the dark disk of the moon and a very thin, bright ring of sunlight around the edge, so it's, a, you know, it's supposed to be a beautiful golden ring effect. From a simulation to the more beautiful real thing, this annular eclipse was seen over the Pacific from California in 1992, and this during maximum annularity eight years earlier. Yet the capital Lowick's approach to this eclipse is remarkably low-key, Rooms are still available, and in the local tourist office, there's only one poster and brochure tucked away among the souvenirs. With its scenery, bird and wildlife, Shetland has plenty to offer the tourists, but it seems the whole of Scotland has missed a trick here by failing to fully take advantage of an annular eclipse. After all, the next opportunity within the UK to witness the so-called ring of fire won't be for another 90 years. Sue Nelson, BBC News, Shetland.